Hey guys, this is Eric from FinalCutStudioSchool.com and I'm here with another motion tutorial about cameras. It's an advanced camera tutorial and I'm going to show you how to use multiple cameras in a scene. One way to use multiple cameras in a scene and how to edit using multiple cameras in a scene. Okay? So, as you can see, I just have this little wall called Broken Clock here. Um, just in my scene, okay? So, the first thing I'm going to want to do before I do anything is I'm going to add a camera. Okay? So I'm going to go up to my menu bar and add new camera and I'm going to switch to 3D. Let me open my project up. Okay, now I have this camera and I'm going to dolly back a little bit so I can see what's going on here by dragging right on my little transform icon up here. Now this is a pretty advanced, this is for people that know a little bit about the camera in 3D uh, view and shake, uh, not shake, but motion. You know, got shake on the brain for some reason. Um, so this tutorial assumes a little bit of prior knowledge. If you haven't got prior knowledge on how the 3D works in motion, I suggest you go back and watch my first parts, one through four, on how 3D cameras in motion, then come to this one, because I'm going to assume prior knowledge in this video about using transform tools and stuff. When I say I'm going to go up here and dolly around, I'm going to assume that you guys know that I'm going to go to my camera tools and dolly around. I'm not going to explain every single step. So go back and watch the first four, then come to this one if that's uh, your situation. Okay, so now we have this basic camera in our scene, and I want to give me a good perspective here, so I'm going to dolly out like this. So I can get a good angle on my broken clock here. Okay, so now we have our little angle set out here. First thing, I'm going to select my broken clock, hit Command-D and duplicate it, and drag one out to the side so we'll have two. This will help me demonstrate what I'm doing here. Now, I have my playhead parked at the beginning. I'm going to select my group, and I'm just going to give these guys a little bit of animation so it'll help you d distinguish what's going on. So I'm going to turn on my record key, move my playhead down to about right here, and just scoot these suckers back a little bit. That way we'll have a little bit of animation to work with while we uh, do our scene here. So now let me play this back and you can see what we got. We just got a little quick animation of these clocks drifting backwards, okay? So now I'm going to demonstrate how we um, use two cameras or more to edit. But first, <clears throat> let's select one of our broken clocks. Go to Add Filter, Color Correction, Colorize. Because I want you to be able to distinguish these two clocks apart. So we're going to make one of them a different color. And we'll make one blue like that. Maybe a little lighter. Okay, so now we've got these two clocks. When we play it, we're at a nice little angle here, and they drift back and forth. Okay, so I'm going to name this camera Overview Camera. So I'm going to go up here in my Layers tab and rename it Overview Cam. And this gives me a, an overview of what my scene looks like. As you can see, the name is pretty much self-explanatory. We have an overview camera pointed towards the scene now. And this shows us what's going on from this perspective. So now let's add another camera. Let's scroll forward and maybe when the clocks get right here, we want to add another camera. So now I've moved my playhead forward. Let's go new camera. Okay. So now I'm going to line my camera up with my playhead. Well, actually, I'm going to leave it the same. I'm going to leave it the same and I'll show you why here in just a minute. Okay, now I have this overview cam and I have a camera added so now go up to your little menu here and select it and you'll see all your cameras listed okay you got your overview cam and then the camera you just added select the camera you just added okay then double click your little 3d transform tools to reset the view okay and as you can see that reset our view back to front like that. So now when we're watching from here, you can see from the front view that thing that those things are drifting back from the front view. Okay? And we also have our overview cam perspective, which gives us our perspective from this direction and you can see the other cam we added right here. Okay? 
So now we have these two cams. Let's open up my project timing, my timeline. Now we can have my we have my overview cam and my regular cam, okay? So I want to start out with this view, okay? And I want it to scroll forward a little bit. And then I want to switch to the other view, okay? So what I'm going to do is I'm going to bring my camera, not my overview cam, but my other angle, and I'm going to bring the camera in and have it start right about here. Like that. Okay? So now it's going to go from this angle to my other angle when it hits right here. So in order to make that take effect, I'll go back up, select my active camera. Now that I'm in my active camera view, you can see when I get right there, it switches to the other cam. It always takes whatever camera's on top as priority. Okay? So now, as you can see, you come in, boom, it hits right there, and it's still going along. And now, say we want to switch back out. Let's, let's kill this length of this camera by hitting the O key, and that'll bring it down to right here. You can see the length of this camera. And then when we get back, it switches back to that point of view. So if I play this, if I let this loop a second, you'll see going back, then we switch cameras, we go back, then we switch cameras again, and go back. While it's while it's all going in the same stream, you know what I'm saying? So it lines up the cuts perfectly. If you wanted to say right here, wanted to go at another angle. So you're right here and you're good to go, then it switches to the front view, then it switches back out to perspective view. Then say right here you want to focus. Focus on them again. Let's add another camera. So let's just add a new camera. Select the camera you just added from your active camera menu. Double click your transform tools to reset it. And now position your camera. I want to position it on the blue one. That way we're just focusing on the blue one. Now the blue one is right there in front of us. So now I'll switch back to our active camera. Like that. And so as you can see, let's see, when I play this back, I have three cameras in my scene. I have my overview cam, cam one, and cam two. And when I play it back, we're in our overview. We'll switch to camera one, switch back to overview, and switch to camera two. Actually, we might want to have this camera one come in a little sooner. Like that. And we'll have it end about right there. Now, we have three cameras, our overview cam, our camera one, and our camera two. And when I play it back, it starts with our overview, switches to camera one right now, back to overview, into the camera two. So as you can see, this is how you edit using cameras in Motion 3. Very simple. You can add as many cameras as you want. You can have one scene, you can have a f one video here and another video here. Then you can edit between the two using two cameras switching you know instead of having to dolly the camera over and do this then dolly back you just switch between two cameras and it's a very simple concept and um, if you watch this video a couple times you'll see that um, it, it is very simple there's not much to it and once you get the hang of it you'll be editing with cameras in motion 3 before you know it so once again we added an overview cam which was right here then we added a second cam about and started it right here and then it goes back to our overview and it goes back to our camera too. Pretty nifty little trick. If y'all have any questions, please get a hold of me. I'll be more than happy to answer anything I can. Um, I hope you learned something and we'll see you next time.